hello, hello. It's Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which means it's time for my live Ask A W show where I answer all of your questions about style, grooming, dating, etc. All that good stuff I will be answering. And again, we have Dorian here because he is a fantastic moderator. So, <laughs> <laughs> so need his help with just kind of making sure I stay on task and answer everyone's questions as much as I possibly can. So hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. Switching it up now, we're gonna be doing our live Q&As on Sunday because it's just a lot easier. I've been working a lot on Saturday and I just wanna make sure that I can always do these live Ask AWs um, consistently. So Sundays, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is what's gonna be happening. Until further notice, until yeah. maybe you get too busy. Yes, so, <laughs> but again, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. We've been having a really busy Sunday today. Um, we had some dim sum this morning, checked out some furniture, I went to a baby shower, and now we are here at Grandpa Bernie's place. So he's he's 93, about to turn 94 actually. So um, we decided to switch up the environment today and do it here. Yep. So let's start with the top questions from oh, last. Sorry, the camera shaking because my hand was holding She's it. She's not the best camera holder, so <laughs> I will be holding the camera. So uh, let's start with the questions, Ash, from last week that were the top upvoted ones, and then we'll get into the questions that you guys have as part of the uh, live chat. So awesome. here we go. First question from yeah. Bill. Could we give Dorian his own channel so he can fill, fulfill his desire to be part of his own shows? It's becoming the Dorian show, um, so. Can you do that? <laughs> um, stop hating and stop being greedy. I need someone to help me stay on task. And he does a great job. And I think you'd rather these Ask AW live Q&A sessions go very smoothly and fastly. And I'm constantly answering as many questions as I can rather than me looking down at my phone trying to go through questions. So, sorry. What's his name? Bill? Bill, yeah. Sorry, Bill. But you're going to have to tough this one out. <laughs> and I couldn't care less about being on these. I'm here just as a moderator. Yes. This is, trust me, I'm not looking for my own channel. I've got a channel. It's called Ashley Weston. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next thing. Uh, next question. What age, uh, Andrew Clark asked, what age should I start dressing like a gentleman? I am 18 years old. What age should you start dressing like a gentleman? I mean, 18, when you're starting to become an adult and stepping out into the real world and going to college, I think that when you are out of high school, that's when you're gonna start figuring out who you are and starting to dress like the man that you wanna be in the eyes of other people. So um, I think that it's never too early to start at 18, but if you're going to college, I know that's a little bit tough to be dressing up formally every day, but there's ways to dress timeless and casual and still be comfortable in a college setting. So you should start as soon as you become an adult, really. Great, because guess what? Next question by Gordon. How do I dress for uni without standing out like a sore thumb? So continue that thought, basically. Oh, yes. So how would you dress if you were 18 or in uni? Yes. Well, I went to UCLA. I know exactly what college code, dress code is. A lot of men end up dressing in college in just like sweatpants and a sweater with t maybe a t-shirt and sneakers and that's it. And it's very um, off-putting. Um, I understand that they want to be comfortable and sometimes it's finals week so you want to be comfortable. But a really easy way to just be comfortable and casual in that co college setting is to just have a nice pair of dark wash jeans, wear it with a nice fitting t-shirt or polo shirt, even an Oxford button down shirt with the sleeves rolled up is super easy. Throw on a sweatshirt and some sneakers and you're comfortable but still put together. The women are going to notice you there because they're going to be like, wow, like this guy dresses amazing, especially in a sea of just like frat boys slobs. that like slobs that look just like slobs so you're already gonna stand out with the women and also everyone else your professors are gonna take you seriously because the the effort that you put into making sure you present yourself in the way in a certain way is going to be noticed and that's gonna really um, just kind of influence how you feel about and how you feel about your life and your career and your studies so you should care about all aspects of your of your life, including yourself and your appearance. That's when in college is kind of when appearance starts. Like you're going to start noticing there's going to be a trend, and this will carry through after college usually. That usually the guys that are like, okay, I'm in college, like 
time to take it a little more serious and that means appearance, that means you know being more of a man, not so much a kid anymore, that's when you start noticing literally the separation of the men from the boys. When I was in school, that's how it was too. It's like, you're going places, you probably are not. And the easiest way to indicate that is based on their dress. Yes. Right? 100%. So, Bernie, get over oh, here. Oh yeah. You guys want to see Bernie? <laughs> Here's Grandpa. And Grandpa believes in a very strict dress code and always presenting the best version of yourself. Right, Gramps? Yes, that's quite correct. Yeah, and he's 93, about to turn 94, and he's like, no, you need to always be well-dressed, always, right? Much, I think, you should, it should be dressed, well, con con conservative, well, like myself, at all times. Yes. If you can. Yes. And I like, I like that. I like to be dressed. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining. You're Thanks for letting us film here. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. We'll get back to everyone else's Bye. questions. <laughs> One thing. Yes. I can't talk. Oh, no. <laughs> in the middle of something, Bernie. We're in the middle of Q&A. <laughs> a little slower. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of people can't pick that up. Okay. Yes, I'll talk a little slower. Yeah, I get a little excited slower. and I talk fast. That's what Bernie says. <laughs> Next question. Let's see. I just lost it here. Uh, sorry. Uh, remember, um, Fill in the audience if they really want their question answered in the live chat, what can they do, Ash? Yes, if you guys really, because we get so many questions in the live chat, so if you really want to get your question answered, there's this feature um, on YouTube where you can actually pay like five or ten dollars and it'll pop up on our screen red. I think it's red, right? It's or very blue, bright, you but can't it's very miss it. bright and it just stays up there at the top of the list while everyone else's their messages are kind of disappearing. So if you really want your question answered, you do have that option. Okay, next question from Korg. He actually has two. Uh, would you recommend wearing boots for a casual look during summer? Boots. Uh, chukka boots, yes. Chukka boots for summer, you can definitely do that. Any other kind of casual boot, no, it's just too heavy. So you want to save your other lace-up casual boots for the fall and winter, but not for summer. Maybe for early spring, because it's still a little chilly sometimes, early spring, but that's it. For summer, you really wanna break out your chukka boot, your uh, driving mocks, penny loafers, sneakers, those types of more breathable shoes, but no heavy-duty casual lace-up boots at all. And then second part to his question, what are your rules for dark wash jeans and Oxford dress shoes or boots? So dress rules. shoes or boots, dress boots. For, for what? Dark wash jeans. Dark wash jeans, rules. Oh, dark wash jeans for Oxfords. I would say, I mean, there's not really a rule. You can wear your dark brown, black ones. I always like to have like a little bit of cuff on my jean. Like I like to cuff um, my client's jeans and wear it with a t-shirt or Oxford button down tucked in. All year round? Um, for for most of the year, not for winter. For winter, that's when I default to boots. Boots are just gonna keep you warmer, protect your feet. Um, lace up, not chukka boots. No, not chukka boots. Lace up casual leather boots that are, um, I like to pair those with jeans during the winter because they're really going to uh, protect you against the elements. And they look great with any outfit. And it's honestly, it's very interchangeable. So depending on what time of year it is, what the weather's like, switch your outfit. So you could keep the, the same outfit and just switch out the pair of boots for Oxfords and vice versa, again, depending on uh, the weather outside. And last question, I uh, can't pronounce the name. Anyways, what do you think about is it Massimo Duty? The oh, Mas that, yeah. that brand. Yeah, Massimo Duty. That we we see this at um, at the mall a lot, and we had you actually try. I had Dorian try on a couple of their uh, jackets, and uh, they fit great. Actually, I was really surprised. The price point is pretty nice, and the fit was really great. And it's it's just like nice fast fashion where it's not too expensive. It's a little bit more than J Crew. Um, but it's not that bad and I thought the fit was really great. It does fit more of a taller gentleman, um, but that's really all my, th I don't really have any thoughts outside of that because I've only tried it a couple times on you. How was the, um, the material and construction and all that? Material for the price point I thought was not bad. So it's because it's a cheaper price point, so you can't expect the construction and the fabrics to be super luxurious and high-end. Um, so I thought that it was appropriate for the price point. Okay. All right, let's move on to the student questions. Let's see, let's go back. Sweden in the house, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else plan their day around this? Yes, we do. I do, 
I hope you guys do. Thanks everyone for joining and tuning in to the live Q&A. So it'll, again, I said this in the, the top of the video, but it will be every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you all for joining. And then uh, Ashley, what is your ethnicity? I am half Vietnamese and half French. There you go. What should I wear to getting coffee? Getting coffee, uh, so usually that's a daytime thing, but if you're getting coffee, I like just something easy, so Oxford button down, tucked into some dark wash jeans, throw on a pair of loafers, a dress belt, that's great, or throw on a t-shirt with some jeans, like a, a, a actually, excuse me, a, like a gray sweatshirt with some jeans and sneakers, like a Nike sneaker or some Stan Smith, and I think that's just a casual, um, but not trying too hard, comfortable outfit. What is a good sneaker for someone on a good white sneaker for someone on a college budget? Hey, Seuss hey, wanted to know that. Converse, all the way. Converse. Get some All Stars or some Jack Purcells. You can find them very cheap out there. Get a pair of white or black um, shoe, uh, sneakers. Can you make a video for guys with thinning hair? Yes! So we have an upcoming grooming series that we're currently doing a ton of research and on and just putting together. And we will be addressing all types of hair, including thinning hair and what to do and the routine that you should have. Thoughts on tattoos? Tattoos? I like them on some people. Dorian, no. He's very clean cut. I don't think he could pull off a tattoo hey. situation. But there's definitely some men out there that I love, like their sleeves. Um, yeah, it just depends on the type of guy and how you carry it. Can you do an episode for bigger guys? Yes. No, 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 no. Hold on. No. Well, Anytime there's fit differences, I, I know this because yeah. I'm, I deal with the back end. Anytime there's fit differences for every uh, body type, you always mention it in your um, men's clothing uh, yes. fit guide series. So watch those videos. If mm -hmm. there's a note that's different than what it actually is saying based on the body type, she will always mention it. So oh, yeah, I definitely we do. always do that. We will probably come out with a series mm -hmm. specific to that at some point, but it's yes. not not going to be recent. So you're doing yourself a yeah. disservice if you're watching her fit guide series and going, well, that doesn't apply to me because she will absolutely mention I do mention, mention it. yes. Yeah. I definitely do address different body types throughout my fit videos, like my fit guide videos. So yep. if there is a relevant point towards for a certain body type, I always address it. Yep. Check out the Henley video uh, if you want to see a good example of that. Uh, why don't you like skinny jeans, Ashley? Is slim better for men? Yes. Uh, well, this depends because larger gentlemen, so broader men with bigger thighs that have maybe a little bit of a stomach, they should be wearing straight fit jeans. I like slim fit jeans for thin to average built men. The only time I ever like a skinny jean on a man is for a very, very thin guy where the slim fit jean actually ends up looking big on them. So that's why they have to go down to a skinny fit, but it's usually based on a brand. Sometimes they like one brand over another and that brand slim fit is more of a relaxed fit. But the reason why I don't like skinny fit jeans on men, like skin tight jeans, is because it just looks like they're trying to be a teenager and that's not a great look. Nobody wants, nobody, it never looks good when you're trying to be younger and look younger than you really are. You should dress appropriately, dress confidently and timelessly um, rather than trying to mimic some kind of punk little teenage boy out there. So I think you were what you're trying to say if I'm hearing you correctly mm -hmm. is your jeans should fit how you propose which is you know pinching X amount on either side regardless yes. of what the slim skinny whatever it is because different mm -hmm. brands are gonna be different but the majority of the things you recommend are slim fit but that could change based on whatever brand just follow yes. the fit rules which yes. are independent of the yes. tight type of jean it is basically. Yes. And I have a whole fit guide about how, how your jeans should fit, yeah. so check that out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm 23 and look like I'm 17. What can I do to make me look a little older? We've been asked this before, yeah. but if you want to go over it again, it was in an Ask AW video, kind of one of the early ones if I remember correctly. But what can Anthony do if he's 23 but looks 17? I know you have this problem. Oh, yes. <laughs> you personally. I mean, I am almost 30 and I look like I'm 15, 16 years old, so I totally understand. Now, it's not a bad thing. The key thing that you need to make sure that you nail so that you don't look even younger than you are is you have to make sure your clothes fit 
properly. You want them fitted to your body type because if something looks too big on your body, it's actually gonna make you look even skinnier than you are, which makes you look even more kind of like an adolescent, like more like a kid. So you really wanna make sure all your clothes are fitted and then also play around with your hair. So I believe hair, your hair cut and your hairstyle as well as your facial hair can really influence how people perceive you. So make sure that you are picking an appropriate haircut and hairstyle based on your hair type and your, um, your facial shape. And stick with that and do it well and make sure that it doesn't get too overgrown because that's just gonna make you look like you know a teenage boy that, ha that is going too long between haircuts. And if you are able to grow some nice facial hair, a little bit of stubble or even a full like beard situation, that always makes you look really masculine and mature. But if you can't grow it, do not have something patchy. That's again gonna make you look like you're a teenager trying to grow a little bit of peach fuzz. So if you don't have you know, a nice, amount of facial hair, just keep it nice and clean shaven and really concentrate on picking the right hairstyle and dressing in fitted clothes. That is key. I cannot stress that anymore. Yeah, that's, I think if I remember that's what you said kind of the first yeah. time around is fitting, fitting clothing is a big, yes. big deal. You can, you, you can look like a little boy very easily if you're just wearing like big t-shirts with logos all over. It's like, yes. well clearly you're a kid then. My brother's 30 <laughs> and he looks like he's in high school and the biggest thing that has made him finally look more mature and above 21 is that he i well i've been forcing him to to <laughs> to wear clothes that fit him appropriately and don't try for all of these trends out there go with timeless style go with essential items and stick to those pieces and really nail down that fit what do you think of invicta I don't, i've never known how to say this watches do oh, you know what that mm -mm. is I think it's like a fashion brand. We've got a whole watch video designed around uh, for watches. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Um, it has Ashley's favorite brands. Uh, what is Dorian's favorite key mechanical keyboard? Oh. <laughs> uh, the Plank 40%. Ortholinear for life. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> Harrington or bomber jacket for spring? Oof. That's so hard. Maybe both? Both. I can't <laughs> choose. That's so hard. That's like saying a t-shirt or a polo shirt for a spring. It's like, well, they're both great. Um, if you are going to go with a bomber jacket, I always, instead, because sometimes when, especially when it starts to get really warm in the summer, leather jackets, like your leather bomber jacket, you're not going to wear in the summertime because it's just too, it's too hot. So that's when I suggest going with a suede or a cotton bomber jacket. But then it's like, at that point, it's like, well, why not just go with your cotton Harrington jacket? That's very breathable. So. Uh, Ashley, um, specific item of clothing uh, that suits tall and thin men? Type of clothing? Uh, pick an item. Pick an item uh, like that what, suits you? What should a tall and thin guy wear You're if you had to choose one? Okay, so what? <sighs> Let's see. I mean, the only thing that I really adjust on Dorian is making sure that his jackets have a standing collar to just help cut up cut up this long neck that he has <laughs> and also that his dress shirts have two buttons it's a higher it sits higher on his neck as well so it's actually a two button um, at the collar but there's not really anything specifically for taller men that I would change it's just proportions of how things fit but that's it okay Ryan has a great question in okay. your Chino's article you said don't wear them, and don't wear your chinos with yeah. a blazer unless, quote unquote, you know what you're doing. Yes. Please elaborate. How can I pair chinos with a blazer successfully? Okay, great. Okay, the reason why I said that more often than not, if you wear your sport coat with some chinos is because sometimes the weight of the fabric and the texture of the fabric is too similar where it, li it literally looks like you're wearing a private school uniform. So it just doesn't come off well. It comes off very dated and like a school uniform. So the key to wearing sport coats with chinos is if you're going to wear it, most people wear solid color chinos. So I'm gonna say this applies for all solid color chinos, but you wanna make sure the sport coat has a nice texture to it. So you don't want the texture of your sport coat and the weight of your sport coat to be similar or even 
identical to the fabric of your chino because sometimes there's sport coats out there that ha have that same cotton can canvas material to the sport coat so you want to make sure that the wool sport coat has a nice texture to it um, and then I personally like to do like I like to have navy I also like to mix it up with patterns so going with a window pane or a hound's tooth then after you get kind of those patterns in navy in um, a lighter blue in browns greens burgundies that's going to really be a lot easier for you to wear with your chino pants okay let's do uh, two more and then we'll wrap up let's see good one uh have you heard of the brand diadora no no okay uh what kind of dress shirts do you like that have two collar buttons tom ford those are amazing Tom, yes, yeah. but they're, okay, here's, the reason why I don't recommend Tom Ford that much, the construction, incredible. Nothing to complain about with the construction. The fabric choice is beautiful, but it is so incredibly overpriced. The price tag is like crazy. And if I had the money to just throw around, I would just go shop at Tom Ford because it's, it, the construction and everything is beautiful, but I don't think it warrants $1,000 for a t-shirt. Uh, $6,000 for a bomber jacket. <laughs> I mean, you have clients that are willing to pay it and yeah. they want to have Tom Ford, but you can sure, actually, why not? Here's the thing, so Xenia actually shares the same fabric mills as Tom Ford and they use the same fabrics. So you can go to Xenia and it's at least a quarter or a third of the price cheaper and you're still getting that quality. Um, in terms of other double button shirts, Armani, Giorgio Armani makes them sometimes. They're actually more specialty items. For Dorian shirts, he had to get them all custom made yeah. because of just his proportions and everything. So And they're cheap. They're like cheap is relative yeah. obviously, but I've had them for some of them for like five, six years. Yeah. So they're like fifty, the sixty, seventy bucks. Depends yeah. on cost per wear is nice. Like, yeah. In the end. Definitely. Uh, last two questions. Are stacking on jeans bad? Yes, 100%. That's no question. You, Your jeans should never be that long where you have a bunch of fabric just stacking at the ankle. It ends up cutting your legs off short, at very like at the ankle or a couple of inches above the ankle. So now your legs look really short compared to your upper half of the body. So make sure to get your pants hemmed with a slight break uh, to no break depending on what you want. All right, last one. How, how do you or have you shopped at Mr. Porter? Love yes. Mr. Porter. Friends with all those yeah, guys. Yeah, we're so. friends with all the guys over there. I yeah. love Mr. Porter. They do a really great job with having a curated selection of luxury items that are really nice. Um, and they don't buy in bulk. That's not what they're about. They just pick key pieces that they love to present to their customers. And so I really yeah. like the website. I think they do a really great job okay. with the items that they carry. Last question, Mr. Appleman97, uh, you mentioned you're doing a whole grooming series about hair and stuff like that. Are you also going to be planning some videos about fragrances? Yes, so our grooming series is gonna cover hair, skin, and also um, fragrances. So all of that good stuff that really you're putting on your skin, hair, all of that good stuff we'll be covering. Very yep. detailed and that's why Please be patient, it's taking us a while because we are having to do a lot of research, interview a bunch of people. We really wanna make sure that this is going to be very thorough and helpful for all of you all that out there. Working on some collaborations with people that yeah. are well versed in that area too. Yeah. So <laughs> it should be a fun one. All right, I think that's it. That's it. All right guys, well, I will be seeing you next Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll answer all of your questions again um, during that time. So if you have any questions about style, Fash or style fashion, style grooming, grooming etiquette. etiquette, dating, life advice, life advice that you want, be sure to leave it in the comment section below in this video because we always will check and answer the them. highest upvoted questions yeah. will get answered. So yeah. leave your questions below. Also upvote the ones you want to see answered next week. We always start every episode out with that one with my help. Otherwise, if you were just you, no. Uh, last question. Okay, this guy keeps, keeps asking. Us. Will red red leather or blue leather jackets make me look silly? Quick answer. Navy uh, jacket. Do a navy. Navy jacket. Red, yes. Yeah, red jacket is going to make you look silly, of course. Watch the <laughs> watch um, uh, uh, Eddie Murphy's first stand-up special and see why you should probably never wear a red leather jacket. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Okay. Oh, and we have a video coming out Monday. See you then. Bye. Bye. Mwah.